Madam Chief Executive, a lot of people have noticed during your policy address for this term, you've been aligning up uh, Hong Kong's plan very much with that of the central government and the overall development plan of China, the 14th five-year plan, for example. And many pointed out, this is almost the very first time Chief Executive of Hong Kong are doing in such intensity in that direction. Madam Chief Executive, tell me more about why you put so much emphasis on that now. This policy address could be uh, could be remembered as a policy address that is first in several aspects. One is this uh, one country, two systems back on the right track. Mm -hmm. The other is integrating into the national development. Mm -hmm. uh, so your observation is correct that in many uh, respects, this uh, policy address uh, is trying to ensure that Hong Kong will integrate better into the national development. But this is not something new. I try to give a very uh, brief recap <laughs> of Hong Kong's development in the last 50, 60 years. We have always been benefiting from the national development. We have always adjust Hong Kong's position in accordance with the national development. So when, uh, when uh, the People's Republic of China uh, opened up, then uh, we could be the bridge, we could be the connector with the outside world, and uh, we could relocate our industries to uh, the southern part of uh, mainland, benefiting from the reform and opening up policies. But at this point in time, it is important to remind people that Hong Kong's economic development uh, will have to be very closely integrated with the national development. Mm. You just look at eight centers that uh, the uh, central authorities have given us support in the 14 five year plan. Every mm -hmm. of those center, whether it's International Financial Center, International Trade Center, International Aviation Center, International Innovation and Technology Center, all have a mainland dimension. Why should we forego an opportunity of doing even better by integrating into the national development? Also unprecedented, in the uh, interview you received uh, recently after the policy address, uh, Madam Chief Executive, you talk about the one country, two systems could well carry over 2047, which is 50 years after Hong Kong's return to China. So what exactly did you mean? Well, I just want to point out a, um, a fact. A fact is since 2019, this um, one country, two systems policy has been regarded as an institutional strength of our country, right? right. And then um, on the 1st of July this year, at the celebration of the um, centennial uh, event of the um, uh, CPC, again, presidency uh, put a lot of emphasis on the one country, two systems. So in a way, one would uh, easily ask that if that one country, two systems have been such an important part of um, the People's Republic of China's um, uh, development. And if it is working well, mm -hmm. then why would one want to put an end to it? So I'm just put, pointing out first a fact. The second thing is, of course, because of the two important decisions that I have set, right. the Hong Kong is now really back on the right track. I would say that it is back on the right track since reunification. So after 24 years of uh, experience with this one country, two systems, we are now back on the right track. And we will continue to be able to contribute uh, to our country's development. So uh, I hope, uh, I, I do not have any authoritative source to make this statement, but I feel and I hope that this very successful one country, two systems will continue to flourish.